Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lil Brunson back at you with the back at you, and I'm the best reporting on the Eagles. Before we get into the, before we get into the meat and potatoes, I got to tell you guys, enjoy your Memorial Day for sure, man. Listen, man, if you know a vet or somebody that's dealing with anything, man, they just need somebody. To, listen, just check on all your vets. Vets in your family, you got friends that's vets, uh, especially them guys that deployed that seen some action, man. Make sure you check on those guys, man. You never know, you know what I'm saying, what, what anybody could be um, dealing with, man. You know, my man, you know, my roommate from Afghanistan, my dog, Stu. You know what I'm saying? He um sent a message in the group chat the other day, asked, you know, yo, is anybody else PTSD flaring up? You know what I mean? Stu, get like this around this time. You know what I mean? He think, I don't know. I, I know Stu. We, I, we was in that together. You know what I mean? And you know you just got to check on your dog sometime. You know what I mean? Let him know that you're there for him and things of that nature, man. Uh, my last deployment, man, you know what I'm saying? Um... Everybody ain't come back, and that's what this day is for. This day is to remember those guys, to remember the heroes that gave the ultimate sacrifice. So this is what we going to do, man. We got a couple more days left in this month, you know what I'm saying, for um, for I get the total numbers of, you know, the merchandise. So, you know, I need y'all to run it up the last two days, man. We going to donate um, from this month's uh, merchandise and whatever um, just, to, just to an organization that helps vets with PTSD, that helps people... Um, People need help I need help sometimes too You know what I mean I got my ways That I get help as well You know what I'm just trying to be able To make sure that I could do my part To help the fellow vets man So enjoy man Eat good All of that stuff But don't forget What this day is about man Because it's really people That really put in some crazy work man I'm telling you I done seen it some people that put in some crazy work gave the ultimate sacrifice, you know what I mean, just so this place could be as free as it is. Let's get into it. I want to talk a little bit about Jalen Hurts before we get into, you know, the main the main course of this video. I think Jalen Hurts is actually <laughs> going to be better than what he was last year. And it's, and it's kind of hard to, you know, fathom, you know, what's the cap and what's the ceiling for Jalen Hurts? You know, there's so many things that go against quarterbacks after they get paid. Where is his mindset going to be at? Was this the ultimate objective? Was it about the money? Was it about the brand? I solely believe the Philadelphia Eagles have a quarterback that only wants to win. That only wants to win. And you've seen his message on Instagram. I'm hungrier than ever. You know what I'm saying? Um, I'm just, you, you know what I mean? I'm just lucky, man. I ain't going to lie. I'm lucky to be a fan of the Philadelphia Eagles. I'm lucky to have decided to, you know, Back the guy the way I back the guy. You know what I'm saying? The guy is worth his weight in gold to this city, man. He's just a, a determined young man. I, I've talked about his throwing motion from some of the clips we've seen in OTAs. He looks better, man. He looks better, and his mindset looks even better. So with that being said, I want to say this. I want to recant one of my statements. I usually don't do that. I'm Crystal Ball Brunson. But I was scared. The D-Hop talk had me a little scared, y'all. It had me a little scared because I just don't want to mess up the chemistry of how good this team is. But when you look at the quarterback and you look at the, the pieces that could be around D-Hop, I think it's just going to be make the team that much more better. So listen, man, get D-Hop. You know what I mean? If you could get D-Hop, get D-Hop. You know what I mean? This ain't begging for no player. This is understanding the team you have, understanding how these pieces can, can, can function together. This is understanding how unstoppable you could be. This is understanding that you have the, the leader of the ship that could command everything. The only way it could go bad is if you ain't winning games. Then everybody start looking to the left and to the right, making excuses. If you're winning games, which this team has always done, you know what I mean? If you're winning games, then nothing could come wrong from adding the DeAndre Hopkins to the roster of the Philadelphia Eagles. I'm not saying it's going to happen. I'm good either way. But if you add D-Hop, that's different. That's different, man. That's different, man. Keep that in mind. Jalen Hurts and D-Hop are following each other on the gram. I don't know if it just happened, but a lot of people are talking about that as well. As that, you know, being, being a thing right now in the sports world. They following each other, so it could get a little dark, man. So, you know, the second half of this video, I want to touch on, you know, I just want to talk about the running back situation for a while. We're going to be showing some clips of Rashad Penny. We're going to be showing some clips of DeAndre Swift. And we're just going to talk about some of the subtle differences and some of the ways that these guys can definitely impact the Philadelphia Eagles offense. Once again, enjoy your Memorial Day, man. I love y'all, man. You know the vibes. Yes, sir. We got some Swift pennies in the running back room, man. I like it, man. Rashad Penny is... More of a bigger guy in stature than Miles Sanders and DeAndre Swift. Um, he just looks bigger. 
Listen, man, this running back room could be dangerous, man. When you think about what Rashad Penny brings to the table, especially if you don't stack the box, if you let this guy get a full head of steam, it's definitely hard to bring this guy down. You know what I mean? Um, one thing from watching the tape I did notice is that if you catch him in the backfield early before he can get that engine rolling hot, then you know he ain't breaking too many tackles behind the line of scrimmage. But once he gets that engine rolling hot, man, I mean, the strength and the power and the ability to break away is just on full display, man. I really like this addition to the Philadelphia Eagles, but we all know health is the main concern for Rashad Penny and what he could bring to the table to um, this team. Uh, a great running back who could sort away games, help to keep that clock moving, keep that clock running. You know what I mean? Positive yardage. He is the LeGarrette Blunt to this Philadelphia Eagles roster, if you ask me. You know what I mean? Just, just wearing defenses down. We all know health is the issue, and if he can stay healthy... You know what I mean? I think you really got one in Rashad Penny, man. I really like what I'm seeing from him, man. You know, teams, you you know, you know, you really can't stack the box against the Philadelphia Eagles because of the threat of the RPO. And that's what really is going to unlock, you know, the potential and the power of a guy like Rashad Penny. And not, you know, not for nothing, you know, the offensive line that both of these guys are going to be running behind is just going to be next level as well, man. You know, a, a, a bruiser back with a touch of finesse is how I would describe a, a Rashad Penny. Um, great vision. Um, you know, he, he has no problem taking a guy for a ride. Good quick feet. I mean, just great upper body strength. The ability to bounce off tackles was on display. You know what I mean? When healthy. J just a guy who makes decisive cuts. Always falling forward. I really, really, really like the straight north and south, you know, run style that he runs with. And, and you know, the Philadelphia Eagles got a decision to make because if Rashad Penny is healthy, 100%, if DeAndre Swift is 100%, Kenneth Gainwell is 100%, then you really got to start looking at, you know, well, who's going to be the guy, you know, getting the bulk of these carries here? Because right now, if you ask me, I think it is Kenneth Gainwell who should be getting the carries week one. I mean, Kenneth Gainwell has had great playoff success last year. Kenneth Gainwell is the reason why we feel comfortable not having to pay a Miles Sanders. And, you know, and Rashad Penny, man, would still be a Seattle Seahawk. Now, DeAndre Swift, now we talk about what he did to us week one. The vision and the burst, you, you, you know, just the subtle cuts that Swift makes just, just lets you know the type of running back that he is. The main difference from DeAndre Swift and Rashad Penny is there are more superstar type plays that you get from a DeAndre Swift like this cut to the weak side is a superstar type play you know what I mean he just he just you know he has that 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 home run ability I like that but you can't sleep on the power I think he's a more powerful guy than Miles Sanders but the home run ability is is what really will get us over the edge you know what I mean with, with the uh, DeAndre Swift this is why I think he actually you know, what I mean, not for nothing could be extended before you even play week one, because I think the return on, on investment will just be fantastic here. Right here. You know, this is a big thing. The ability to catch the ball out of the backfield, you know, first down on this screenplay. Miles Sanders don't give you that ability, those outlets. You know, what I mean, and, and if I believe correctly, I think somebody might have broke the line of scrimmage and just forced him to get that ball out hot. You know, what I mean, yeah, they were bearing down. Well, that's the play design. But listen, man. That that's an added dimension to this offense that we didn't have last year. And right here, man, another superstar play. Catch the ball, fall gets up, touchdown. What are we talking about here? What are we talking about here? The running back room set, man. It's set. 